The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark. When Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb, she saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. <coughs> so Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following now, came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that, the, that had been on his head. This was not the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of Scripture, that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Several weeks ago, I was looking for an Easter card, or Easter cards to send to friends. And you can find cards with Easter bunnies, with Easter eggs. I suppose the closest that you get to the resurrection, or at least the Passover, the Paschal mystery, are the spring lambs. It's quite difficult to find an image of Jesus, the risen Lord. What we celebrate today involves each and every one of us as baptized Christians. As we heard in the readings, we are all of us called to be witnesses, witnesses to the truth of Jesus' resurrection. You will remember a few years ago the scandal that was caused by the newly appointed Bishop of Durham, who denied the reality of the resurrection. The reality of the re resurrection is something which cannot be denied, or if we do, we in fact cease to be Christians. Because we, as baptized Christians, have shared in that mystery of Christ's death and resurrection. Only last evening at the vigil, we were pri privileged to witness the baptism and confirmation of one of our pupils in the school. Most of us remember very little or anything of our baptism because we were baptized as babies. But simply because we were baptized as babies because we didn't know what was going on or what was being done to us doesn't change the fact that something life-changing literally happened to each and every one of us. We died to sin. We have risen to the new life of Christ. And, as I said just now, 
we are all of us called to be witnesses to the resurrection. Death is not the end. There is eternal life. Many perhaps in this culture of death, which is all around us, are unaware of that. And so it is for us to shed the light of Jesus risen, the conqueror of death and sin. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia.